Hello, this is the latest episode of the Silver Fox Hustle Football Talk episode and uh, we've got uh, uh, two guests in the house and we want to commemorate Albrecht Nigata's uh, championship winning season in 2023. They just won, uh, clinched the title in the Singapore Premier League and we've got uh, two guests from Albrecht. So one is, uh, I think we don't need to introduce him at, uh, any further because I had him in uh, our one of my episodes uh, I think last year was yeah, it? I think it was it. last year and uh, he's uh, their goalkeeper Hassan Sani. Hassan, welcome to the podcast. Thank you brother for having me here. No problems. And we've got another special guest from Elbrex. He is uh, Hiroki. He is the media manager of yes. Elbrex Nigata. Hiroki, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having us. Uh, it's a pleasure my friend and uh, it's the first time I've, I've, I'm speaking to you and I have to tell you your English is brilliant. Thank you so much. You're, so you're welcome. <laughs> now, before we go on, uh, congratulations to, to both of you, to the club. And uh, what is the mood like at Elbrex? Uh, Hiroki, we start with you. What is the mood? The mood. The mood. The mood. Oh, yeah. yes. Uh, absolutely. Uh, it's been 20 years yeah. in Singapore. Uh, thanks to every fans and staff, all players, especially uh, Japanese and local as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, from this se- from before this season, uh, we are aiming to get uh, SPL title, of course, yeah. to commemorate uh, 20th anniversary. Yeah. So, it's really good for our clubs. How about you, Hassan? You, uh, this is your first year yes. at Elbrex Nigata. What is the mood like? In the, you know, obviously, it's, it's very happy and all, but uh, you know, in general, what has uh, Elbrex been like for you, personally? Um, I think... I want to echo what um, Cycle has just said. Um, anniversary, yeah. I think we we give the perfect gift for the club, mm. which uh, winning the SPL title. Right. So of course, um, my fourth title, SPL yeah. title, and that's the ultimate goal. Right. Uh, overall, um, because when I signed for the club, um, that's one thing that we looked at, we discussed. Um, on the table yeah. when my contract was on the table so I think um, personally um, I think um, we have done on the club level I think we have done so much for the club players even staffs and I think when we set the goal um, we know that it's going to be hard work and, and a yeah. lot of sacrifices and I think yes I think um, it's just a perfect gift for for the club and, and we hope to, to win especially the next one is Singapore Cup Hiroki did you know that he's just won his fourth uh, title yes of course and, and I want to pick up on that as well fourth title with four different clubs yes. <laughs> congratulations my friend you. Is, are you the only one so far you, you've created a record of, of something um, I've read somewhere yes yes, uh, yes uh, I'm wow. the only one so so, so, so name me all the four clubs Tampanese um, Warriors Lion City Sailors and Apex. How special is this one compared to the four, uh, the other three? Um, <laughs> this um, don't lie because no, Hiroki no. is here. <laughs> yeah, <don't> <laughs> <laughs> but then again, I think this is uh, very much different as compared mm. to others because I think I mentioned this. Uh, I feel like I'm a foreigner uh, in yeah, the team, right. of course, in the club as well because um, most of them uh, yeah. Japanese players and of course the management as well. <laughs> Um, so I think I relate. I, I spoke about this um, a few weeks ago. Um, it's it's the same um, when I was in Thailand. You know when I yeah. came, um, expectations mm. um, were there, and 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 of course um, I know that I cannot I cannot slack or even uh, relax mm. for a day. So and 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 of course the Japanese players they are just on another level. Um, <laughs> even when you say recovery day. Like after you know a post match match day, uh, we do our recovery and you think okay finish we can go back but they change their boots and they train. Wow. So so that is on another level. Was was language a problem when you first came? Uh, when we first yes joined? yes of course yes yeah? especially first three weeks. Right. And you know um, when I'm uh, I'm in the match or I'm in the game or or I'm on the field. Um, <laughs> I'm always commanding you know. Right I always right, talk. right So imagine I don't even know anything. Yeah. Um, or how to yeah. to converse uh, mm. what I want my messages to to them. So yeah. 
he took like you know hand signals on the field oh. um, and then uh, oh, I had to take the initiative to learn a bit of Japanese as well so so, so now you you in the game do you converse like like normal stuff but uh, uh, Japanese simple stuff yeah yes yeah? of course like Obviously. left right front back push up um, what's pu- what's push up in Japanese uh, line my it's like line forward go up right you know? okay. so okay and and you know our when I uh, <laughs> I think national team yeah. um, March if I'm not wrong when Nishigaya. we went to Hong Kong yeah. so Nishigaya when we were at the airport so Nish- coach Nishigaya came to me oh you speak Japanese now because <laughs> I heard you say oh lying uh, Hidari yeah. left uh, right, Yuki, right. right so I think um, yeah wonderful wonderful uh, okay and you know for those watching and listening as well you know I, I posed some questions to coach uh, the head coach of Elbrex uh, Yoshinaga Kazuaki uh, Yoshinaga and obviously you know he, he's a little bit shy we know from uh, Hiroki is shy I, I don't know whether he's shy in the ground on the ground I don't think so but you know yeah you know in the media and, and stuff so I relate some questions uh, through uh, Saito Hiroki and then he, he went up to uh, Kazuaki Yoshinaga and he's answered those questions right so so you know I think uh, Hiroki you've done a great job obviously you speak brilliant English so let's go right so so the, the question for coach uh, Kazuaki Yoshinaga was uh, this is his fourth title in Singapore altogether Elbrex has won six yes. and he's won four and he's equal that of Richard Box uh, yeah. uh, uh, record of four right what is his feeling like winning his fourth Okay, I got a message from Yoshinaga. <laughs> yeah. uh, of course, it was uh, not easy to get the SPL title, mm. but uh, he's really relieved that we were able to win the league championship in the club's 20th anniversary, yeah. uh, as I mentioned. Yeah. Every season's player have pressure mm. because our fans think that it's normal to get a SPL title. Ah, right, right. Yeah. So, so it's becoming a, a norm to yeah, win. Yeah, and, 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 and now the pressure gets... Uh, you know, you know. I'm just, I'm just following up on that, and I think you, you would know, and even Hassan would know, right? Is there pressure from the club? As in, because you've won it, is there hunger still? Yes, the hunger is still there. Of course. Yeah. When we, to be honest, yeah, we defeat by uh, Tampines in our home match mm. in March. Yes. Maybe our fans really disappointed as well. That the fans were disappointed. Yeah, yeah. Which game was that? Uh, what was the score? The home ground. I think the home match we lost one zero the Temple. Oh, that was earlier on. Yeah. That, that, yeah. that very first right, game, right, I thought. Right, oh, right. they they were disappointed. Right, right. And and I I commented on that game as well. It was it was a one nail result. And I think the last part, uh, <coughs> Elbrex were me. actually attacking and, and couldn't get that result. Yes. yes. But you all still played well. Now I, again, just 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 going back to that. What happens after a result like that? Because what what's the mentality like in the camp in the Elbrex camp I think Hassan uh, yes. you, you can talk because you know you've gone through all the clubs uh, in, in Singapore and what is it like when you when you did lose that game against Tampines you said mm-hmm. it yourself what was the meaning uh, f- mood like and also that game against LCS when you all were leading 2-0 yes. they, uh, they they came back yeah. they, they won by 3-2 right? right again I did that game as well what was it like for Elbrex was it like okay you know this is it we, we are going on a run again. So, what was the you know that that, that feeling like? You see, Coach um, Yoshinaga, um, he has this winning mentality. Right. He doesn't like to lose. Right. So he instilled that to the players. Right. So if let's say we play on Sunday and the next game is on Sunday, we have off on Monday. Let's say so Tuesday is when everything started. Okay. Like you know for the especially Tampines game. Right. Tuesday. Or like uh, Tuesday first training session, he knows that oh okay we're gonna prepare for this game. Right. So if anything goes wrong, you know that okay he has this bad feeling. So immediately he will make sure that mm. he will he will he will speak to players. He said okay um, I do, I don't like to lose. You know I lose more than you guys. You know in my record in my history of coaching I, I I've lost so many matches more than um, yeah. anyone here. Right. So he always. I don't know, maybe he has that feeling, you know. <laughs> so, so that's when I think um, the more he has that feeling, the more he will make sure that he puts pressure on the players. Mm. And, and you know Japanese players. Right. They're just totally different. And, 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 and you know, every little thing on training, you don't like to lose, man. Right, Even right, when right. you see first level against the reserves, yeah. you know the reserve will win. Ah. You know, it, you know, like minus one, like we do set pieces. Yes, like yes. usually, you know, in local context, yeah, right. 
we're in the first eleven, you know, they're going to yeah. prepare for tomorrow. Yeah. Probably the visa will take it easy. Yeah. No, no, give the players, the first yeah. level players, right. uh, some confidence. But this, no, this club, no. Okay. They make sure they make things difficult for them because they yeah. want to make sure that during match days, right. it will be easier for them. Right? Uh, the, the the general feeling, no, no, not general feeling. Is there a general feeling like uh, you guys or the players and whatever, you, you respect him, obviously. Yes. Is there a fear as well? Of course, you see his face. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't smile. <laughs> that, no, yeah, yeah. Does he smile at all course, at yes, training? Yes, yes. But we we know we can feel <laughs> if he is not happy. He uh, does he, in training, right? <laughs> yeah. But we know. He, he, <laughs> You know, when you see him uh, yeah. from the outside, uh, outside people, you see him, he doesn't smile, right? Right, 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 right. But right. yes, I think um, when when, okay. when you see him every okay. day, he does smile, okay. but um, <laughs> probably lesser than his... Uh, I, can, I, I can, I can, uh, his I can... His default face. Uh. Yeah, I, can, <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine the local young players coming in. Yeah, I yeah, think they uh, must be scared right. shit out of him. Of course, of course, of yeah? course. I think, I think then again, he sets the standards yeah. and, and of course... Yeah. Hiroki, I want to ask you, right? How special is Coach Yosh- Yoshinaga? How special? Yeah. Mm, <laughs> micromanagement, I think. Yeah. Mm, maybe... I think he's different people, yeah. uh, different person. Uh, when ah. he speaks to Japanese player, uh, especially studying, mm. and he changed the mindset okay. uh, to yeah. speak to a uh, local young player. Okay. And also... I admire him. Uh, he go every COE uh, ah. under category yeah. to uh, watch to training, watch the games. Training, and training also. Wow! Yeah. yeah, brilliant man. Yes. I, I've I've seen I see, I've seen him in one of those games where we had a friendly. You know, the school team had a friendly with uh, Elbrex under seventeen or something, and he came for that game as well. It's a friendly game, and he and he did come. Yeah, you're you're right about that. Uh, you you want to add on anything in terms of how special uh, uh, Yoshinaga is? Because I I think kudos to him, right? You know, fourth. Championship, you know, and and I think he's great. Not for the media wise, before yeah. games and all. I, I know, you know, with his interviews and all, he gives one word answers. But how how special is he in terms of you know football wise and? Um, I you know I I've I've when I came to the club and you know he he he's, he makes sure every little thing, every little detail is is well taken care of. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is every little thing you do in life, daily life, he he makes sure that. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. It's not so strict, but Subtle. you make sure. Yes, like everything. Let's say you post something, make sure uh-huh. that you take care of your image. On on media, on the social media, yes. he says that he to makes the sure that, Okay, Brilliant. you know, there's one incident happened. Mm. I'm not sure. You know, I sorry. This no disrespect to Tanya Baga, but what happened? Ah. right, because yeah. we we share the same the, the thing. The smoking thing, right? The yeah. uh, vape thing or, yeah, 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 or whatever. Yeah. So, so after that happened, he make sure he speaks. Uh, he spoke to the press. He make sure yeah. this will never happen in his club because he makes sure that it won't happen in his club yeah. because he wants to take care of the player's image. So I think that's very important as well. It, uh, Not only on yeah, the field. Yeah. yeah. Listen, uh, you guys are watching and you guys are listening to this. This is absolutely brilliant because this is what we are talking about, professionalism. Yeah. And you, yeah, you know, as players, as as. Uh, whatever you know, the the image of the club is so so important. When you right. go out nowadays, the phone is everywhere. Yes, the phone is your camera. The yep. phone is everything to you, right? And <coughs> just one shot of yep. you doing something, right. and that's it. You're gone. The image is gone. And brilliant, you know. And and kudos to the club. It it's brilliant. Now, uh, the, a question posed to Yoshinaga as well about recruitment of players. Now, every single year, Albrex seem to change players, right? Now, not seem they they always change players. You know, maybe out of twenty. 18 goals. They retain maybe two. The other 18 are new players coming in. And every single year, the 18 new players come in. They are top-notch. Brilliant tactically. Technically, they're brilliant. They seem to gel together. I don't know how. And they win league titles, right? How does this work? And, and you know, I, I know uh, Coach Yoshinaga don't want to go into the details of how he goes out getting players. Fine, no problems. But, you know, how does this happen, you know, in general? Mm, actually, uh, the method is secret yeah, from right, right, club personal right. perspective. But the goal is to get uh, ambitious players mm. uh, who are likely to adopt our uh, playing model. Okay, uh, having good skill to voltage and mm, we just want to get ambitious player. Uh, it doesn't matter the place. Right. 
you, you, I, I understand what you're trying to say. You know, the, the how the how he gets the players is is a different story. Fine, but you know, you 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 said it right. He picks players based on the the hunger, obviously, and technically good players as well. And you have millions in Japan, so yeah. obviously he has a plan. As in, you're gonna play four three three, for example, yeah. and then he builds from that, yeah. right? Hassan, what how how do you see this? And you 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 seen this for Sen now. So when they come in, maybe okay. in the during preseason, have you seen how they have improved in terms of gelling? You know, I played against <laughs> them since what two thousand when three. I made my debut. Two thousand three, you play against them, right? <laughs> yeah, <Remember>? yeah. <laughs> and since then and now, they always have the number nine. They always have the number eight. Mm. And you know, number nine gonna score goals. Yes. You know, number nine gonna gonna score goals. Right. And you know, number eight plays that that, that dominates the midfield. Right. We know every year that they will have the same type of players, right. but probably different personalities. Yeah. But you know, that is from outside point of view. Right. But when I when I came to the club and when I see them, I said, I don't think we have only one number eight. Ah. We have three or four number eight. Okay. And I don't think we have one number nine. We have more than one number nine. Okay. So the recruitment, I don't know. I don't know what's the method as well. Right. Because right. I, when I see the players, I see. They are just university players, you know. Yep, yep, yep. So imagine they are in the top players, like those professional players. Right. So I said, oh, this is crazy, man, because you know. It, and then again, I learned a lot from them as well, right? Because for them, it's it's a yearly contract, right? Yep, yep. When they when, when they are in, in especially in this yep. year, they're in Singapore. Yep. They know that they're going to go somewhere after this. Mm. So this is the platform for them, right? And it's like for us locals, we have one year. We don't sign more than one year contract. Right. So imagine the kind of effort we put in, the kind of sacrifices mm. we, we. It's make. like a it's like a survival as well. Right, right. Yeah. So so imagine for them, all they want, all they want are numbers. Mm. They will make sure they want to score goals. They make sure they want to assist more. Right. They want to make they will make sure they run at this distance of speed. So, so one good example. <coughs> so we do have GPS, you know, yeah. result after every session, right? So they will look at that, and then and, and they always compare to the previous days. Okay. And usually for us, we just see, oh, okay, oh, I just run this, and just close book finish. But right. for them, is to you know make sure they yeah. improve themselves every now and then. So, and what they do every day on a daily basis is just um, amazing because because we don't like we don't see a defender trying to take free kicks and score goals. Okay, we make we see when well, what I see in every day is like, hey. We have uh, Rico, you yeah. know, number nine, yeah. who is good at reading. Yeah. So my centre backs so or my defender hey, come in one against one with me mm. on their own. On their own, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just mm. remove their shirt and go one pm on the hot sun. <laughs> they do that every single day. Right. And Rico, number nine, will just make sure he improves his dribbling technique. Mm. You know? mm. So they compete each other to improve, yeah. to, to make sure that they they reach a certain level. Right. So when I see that, <coughs> it's like oh, after what. Um, how many years in this uh, country? You know, I feel this is one of uh, those um, mm. period. I feel, oh, you know, there's a lot of things that we locals need to do to improve ourselves. Right. So even myself, I have to stay behind, and you know, when I see them, okay, that motivates me to even yeah, right. improve on myself as well. Because there's pressure as well, and of you're course, looking right. and you say, oh, if, if they are doing it, oh, I I, I got to do it, man. Yes, yeah. So that's how they are on a different level. I think. And and you were talking about you know there there are a couple of number eights in the team, there are a couple of number nines when when you actually yeah, train yeah. with them and and they have the ability. It's it's uh what do you call it versatility as well, right? Of course. Of course. And one example this season has been the captain Yokokawa, number six. He started the season in central midfielder, uh, as as a central midfielder, and then now he's like a full time right back, right? <coughs> that that is one example, yes. and and he's just gone to the right back like he's played there his whole life, <coughs> and uh, yeah, so so that's one example as well, and mm. and that is, it speaks testament, it's a testament of of how the club is managed and and whatever, and it's like a machine now, you know. Yeah. He like, does overlaps in trainings, man. Yeah. Or on his own, so right. he makes sure his centre back so just pump the ball to the corner. <coughs> play. Then he does overlaps, sprint one, walk back, sprint two, walk back, sprint three. On his own. On his own, my friend. When wow. I see that, I say this guy, he should be in in in, in J one or something yeah. or somewhere. And and when you see when he's at number six, he does different job. You know, he right. he's box to box midfielder. there. So I I full full respect. You know, you you've won four titles, right, Hassan, and uh, with four different teams. How do you rate this one? Um. To me, this is not say quite similar, but <laughs> the playing style more or less like the one I I was with uh, Tampa Rovers. Ah, okay. 
Because that team uh, we had full of quality players, mm. but different um, because back then we had a lot of senior players, but it was more of a um, quick one to pass yeah, in, you yeah. know. But this is uh, the opposite. We have probably right. seventy or eighteen young players. Yeah. So, but yeah. this is with speed. Yeah, back then it was more about um, uh, being smart. Yeah, and, being and, experienced, yeah, experienced, and all about um, how you manage the game. But this right. is. You go at a certain speed. Hiroki, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the the question for Yoshinaga was there. There are a couple of uh, young young local players in in the Albrecht side. And obviously, they you try to do that every single year. And we've seen in the past a couple of players have done very well for Albrechts. One was Adam Swandi a couple of years ago. Uh, you you and uh, yes, he, he was he was brilliant for them. And this season as well, uh, Melvin Singh was doing well until he got uh, called up. And the way he all celebrated his goal was brilliant as well. Yeah. He's got a brilliant goal as well. Uh, how does Coach Yoshinaga, uh, apart from uh, instilling fear in them, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, welcome them into the, the team? How does he adapt? Okay. Uh, actually, we have... This season, yeah. we have a uh, role model, Hasan Sanyi. Ah, right, right. So, Yoshinaga tell all local players... Uh, to be professional, ah. like Hassa. Okay. Just okay. Fo- just follow Hassa. Yes. Yes. <laughs> just follow him. That's the that's the message, yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, and anyway, how is uh because you got a couple of uh, local se- senior players in there and officials. You got Hyrule as well yes, as the goal- yes. goalkeeper. Fadil Salim is yeah. the coach as well. So so they ha- they've probably helped the local players uh, assimilate as well, right? Yeah. Into the team. Yeah. Uh, is he hard on the local players, Coach Yoshinaga? Especially the young ones. The young yeah. ones, yeah. He, will, I think he's never happy with them. Yeah, he makes sure he 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 tells them every day that this is not good enough. This is not good enough. You need to be better. You need to yeah. to to run more. You need to think more. Yeah. So, have you seen them improve? Um, of course. You know, yeah. after like what eight months, right? I right. think there must be improvement because yeah. if there's no improvement, yeah. there's no progress, right? Yeah. So I think one good example is um. Um, Junki. Junki. Yes, mm. like when I first came, and Junki I was playing. I didn't. Long. I didn't know that he was uh, Singaporean. Me too. Until, until late, <laughs> late on, you know, and yeah. then the, because he's got a, a Japanese name, obviously. Yes, yes. Right? Yeah. And okay. and I think uh, Shakti. Shakti. Nikki like good example for Junki, he was not playing when when Nikki was around. Right. So he was more of like because we have, we can play one local, right? Yes. Yes. So he was not in the first eleven, but. Uh, he's one player, young player that doesn't talk much, very quiet. Uh, Junki, you mean? Junki, okay, yes, right. doesn't talk much. But he speaks the language, no? Uh, probably he understands. He can understand, but he can't Not speak. fluent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, right, 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 right. so when Nikki left for national service, I think he he step up and and and, and nice. We see the improvement there yeah. and after game by game, and then he improves. And he's been starting all the games yeah. anyway, right? So yeah. the but. One good thing about him, he has these defensive qualities in him, yeah, which um, exactly. other players, other local players, they don't have. Right. So that is one uh, advantage he has. So, yeah. so I hope that um, um, moving forward, I hope he will give or will be given opportunity to represent Singapore. Right, right, right. And and I, I think mentally as well, I think they're, they're a little bit stronger than our local boys. Yes, mentally, yes. Of yeah? course, when you yeah. when you play your Japanese players, you have uh, you tend to you know uh, improve on your mental side as well. So what's the plan, uh, Hiroki, for the Singapore Cup? Singapore Cup, cup? Si- yeah. as a club. Yeah, as a club. What's the plan? Tomorrow, to win it all. Tomorrow is the draw, right? Yeah, tomorrow yeah, tomorrow is tomorrow's the, draw. the draw. Yes, of the <laughs> Singapore Cup. So the, the plan is obviously to win it, right? Yeah. Yeah, and and uh, very confident of it. Is Coach Yoshinaga very confident? Mm, actually, mm. from <laughs> Yoshinaga's perspective, uh, he forced to get Singapore Cup title as well. It's at least level. Standard. Oh, at least. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, to get yeah, yeah, all yeah. titles. A minimal. This season. Okay. And uh, looking good? Yeah, looking good. And yeah. also, we have uh, two weeks day off uh, for vacation ah, times. And uh, I was Japanese prayer going back to Japan and okay. take rest a bit. Right. And coming back to here uh, okay. as a refresh. Nice, nice. I, I, I want to ask you as well about Yoshinaga. Does, does he have uh, plans maybe in the next five years or so? Uh, I don't know. To coach the Singapore side. I, I, I don't know. This is an idea that I feel that could be a good one. Yep. You know, because he knows the players. 
he 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 knows the the culture now yeah. by now he knows the do's and don'ts he knows what right. the players do you think that's a chance any anytime soon uh he hasn't decided the uh, future but uh, right. as a coach uh, his goal is to stay on the pitch and keep <laughs> challenging yeah uh, he really like to con contract with players on the pitch right right uh it doesn't matter singaporean or japanese players and he hasn't decided to stay here or go to another country yeah uh, but he likes singapore yeah? yeah right he really likes singapore right, as a country right. and yeah. also uh football singapore yeah. sbl league nice nice and he's in japan now so for two weeks yeah yeah for okay, two weeks nice, nice. so he's uh, consulting with yeah. his uh, family yeah what what do you think as a for the Singapore national side. No, obviously I I don't, I don't want to yeah. you know it burn bridges or whatever yeah. but obviously you've got a coach right now but I'm talking about in the future maybe 2 3 years I don't know. Do do you mm. think he's he be a good fit? Um for someone who knows um the local culture um and his issues school issues. Oh, yes, yes. I think he he's if you if you talk about a foreigner a foreign coach yeah. I think he knows it all. Yes. And and like I said it's not easy when you have you know it's not easy when you have a team and of, of youngsters and and, yeah. and who's in national service in yeah. school i think you know um the commitment they have they have to balance both um national service or school and, and football so i think he understand understands it well mm. and i think he, now, he, yeah. he, i think he goes through quite a lot because we it's it's quite difficult for him to manage because we have probably 7 to 8 uh, young local players who, okay. who are in school right and, right right and, and it's difficult because we don't know whether they are coming tomorrow or not for tomorrow tomorrow's training it's session it's tough isn't it it's tough it's tough to plan so sometimes <laughs> the last minute they say oh i have a class i've yeah. uh, i have to stay back for this for that yeah. and he needs to you know um Um, change his training plan so it's quite difficult i understand um, the coaches um, over here and, and, and because yeah even the easy. local team it's, it's, it's ridiculous it's you easy. don't know who's coming for right. the training sometimes when you see under 21 players you only have probably less than 7 less than 8 yeah. because of school you cannot yeah. attend yeah. so it's quite difficult but uh, i think um, for a foreign coach he yeah. manages well nice nice now be, be, before we go before we leave i just want to have a, a, a couple of questions to each of you and just just answer you know, off off your head and anyway these questions are coming off my head as well i, I haven't written anything and i'm just going to jump right uh, about the club and about players and and well all right hiroki the most uh, skillful player at the club skillful player was in the club yeah uh obviously local player really like number 9 liko fukashiro okay. his dribble right right how about you asan um Yeah, Rico. I'm talking about Elbrecht, huh? Rico, 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 yeah. the most skillful. Rico. I I think from the outside people really? can tell as well. Yeah, to me Rico. Right. Okay. Uh the most versatile player. That means he can play in many positions. Hassan. Number six, Asai. Uh, number six, Yoko Kawa. Yes, okay. Yoko. Sorry, yeah, I know from there <laughs> from there because of yeah, the yeah, commentary. Yeah. Yours, yourself, most sorry. Most uh, the player he can play in many positions. Many positions. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have to say Asahi. Asahi as well. Yeah. yeah? Uh, number seven, Shuto Komaki. Komaki? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He can okay. be fancy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's brilliant, man. Right. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, okay. Uh, the most hardworking player. To me. Yeah. Um, number fourteen, Shodai. Yoko Kawa. Yeah. Shodai. He. Eh, sorry, Yoko Yama. Yoko Yama. Yoko Yama. Um, oh, yeah. Outstanding. Outstanding. Probably he is the last player to leave. Uh, really? Kingdom. Yes. He will make sure he. He improves uh, on a certain <laughs> level every single day, and now I know why. Because you just look at his performances yeah. on the field; he's just like like a dynamo going. See when he sprints, man. He sprints. His <laughs> face will look up, and and that that's what he does every single session. Right. Even minus one, man. When you see sometimes when I get the ball from corner kick, you know, for high high ball, I just play because I just want to practice. Right? Yeah, right, right, right. For oh no way, he will sprint. Wow. Yeah, I said relax. Okay. We have a game tomorrow. <laughs> so, but that's why I know that we okay. do that so, to make sure that when during match days, okay. it will be easier for them. The the most uh, worst dress in the club. Worst dress player in the club. <laughs> Japanese or Japanese Japanese. So, <laughs> worst dress. Um, Maybe what is worst dress? 
Women's dress uh, uh, Fashion uh, No No, no fashion. fashion Fashion, fashion. <laughs> Yeah who With local I say Allah or Hyrule He's sloppy yeah Okay I think we'll take him As a Japanese now yes. Because he's been there For right. ages yeah. Okay Allah like you, you are officially The worst <laughs> dress player At Albright The best dress uh, Best dress Maybe To me Asahi Asahi Also yeah. Why what, 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 what does he He has this Um Skater like uh, fashion, uh, so the, the cool type. He's into vans and stuff. Ah, uh, the, the the cool. So you know because they don't do much, right? Every yep. single day is yep. all about training session, yep. football, yep. everything. But sometimes as I comes, that it's like he's going to some skating session <laughs> after that. So yeah, I think. Uh, the the player who eats the most. Goji. Who's Goji? Godzilla. Number what? The center back, number five. Number five. Number five is Kishi or Kishimoto? Kishimoto. Kishimoto. Or Kawachi. Kishimoto. Yes. Kishimoto. Yeah, he had, eats a lot. I think we had to monitor <laughs> him for a bit because when he first came, he was at a certain weight. You know? Ah. So I think um, Coach Yoshi <laughs> was the first one to highlight <laughs> yes, to highlight this. I see. He had to run every yeah. session after ah, training after right. training session. Okay. So. And this is also a lot, yeah. yeah. So so this is also another example, right? You you got to you know maintain a certain I I don't yeah, know right yeah. and and that's is what I feel that. The local mm. teams and local players should do as well. You know that the weight part. It's right, like, right. I think you you see. Important. It's important how you carry yourself on yeah, the field. Yeah, exactly. And of course, off the field, uh, whatever you do off the field reflects uh, what you do on the field. Exactly. And then, and I think that was uh, one thing that was being highlighted yeah. uh, by Coach Yoshi Naga. Okay. So I think the Japanese players understand. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. and 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 how good is Tadena really? Uh, to to play with someone of his uh, stature and caliber and 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 you know, yeah, experience man. He yeah. has this um, fine and and, and class uh, when, when he is, gets the ball. Is there an air of arrogance as well? Like the way no 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 no, 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 no as in personality, but the way he no. plays. You see, when I first came <laughs> and and I was it, you know, my 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 sitting position is just across. His, okay, and when he sits. Left and right, when you say Japanese players, they just stand up and walk away <laughs> because that's the level of respect they have for him. Oh, really? They don't want to be no, see, they want to be next sitting next to him. Yeah, they're, they're like kind but of like it's more like respect. Oh, hey, uh, um, Lee San, Lee San is in brother, right? Lee Lee San is here, so they just walk probably take two three wow. steps away. Wow. So and till now they don't even dare to speak anything to him till now. Yeah, no. So. So does so, he have friends or not? <laughs> he, you know, he speaks to everyone, yeah. right? especially yeah. to me. But but the level of respect um, the players have for him is yeah. just uh, incredible. Nice. Make other boys. Yeah. Make other boys every day. Yeah. Yeah. And and okay, who's the biggest joker? Who who makes a lot of jokes in the dressing room? Make people laugh. Besides Allah. Should I? Should I? Should I? Really? Should I? Who should I? Should I? What? Sometimes show. Number um, fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, should I also? Show who are. Uh, uh, show who are. Uh, yeah. Left back. Koki uh, yeah. Kawachi. Kawachi as well. They're very funny, yeah. Very funny. Father is funny. Father is always funny, you know. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, good know. thing he draws the line when ta- when it's time to play, play when it's time right, to work. Right, right, right. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, you know, I I j- I wanted to ask you, her son, and this could be a little bit sensitive, but yeah, you know, yeah. I'm I'm just going to ask you anyway. Last year, at the end of the season, you were mm-hmm. released. Yeah. W- were you released? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You were released, and this season, you won the league. With Elbrex, yep. does it how 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 does it feel? Is there satisfaction? Because I don't I don't know seriously, and I'm I'm not saying this because you're here. Yeah. I'm saying this. I've been saying this on commentary as well. You at the present moment, you are still the best goalkeeper in Singapore. Local player, I don't know how, how many foreign goalkeepers are there in Singapore anyway, right? Yeah. So you're the best, right? Do you think, firstly, it was the wrong decision to let you go, and how does it feel overall? You know, in general, that one it and it's like a Um, you know, I was a bit skeptical at first when I you know, talk about this. Yeah. Um, but I think now it's it's not say time to open up, but yeah. I think it's time to just share. By the with, way, this wasn't planned. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so I think um, I was supposed to stay in the club, yeah. uh, Lion City Sellers, but um, there was a turn of the of events, um, midway, I uh, know, end of the season, yeah. and. I heard each factor. It was all about each factor, but and then when we played them in Jurong East, we won. I think our second game, right? We won three zero, four zero. Yeah, yeah. I think that was one game that I felt so relieved. It was a clean sheet as well. Yes, yeah. and because they told me that 
about my age and then and here I am like you know we won 4-0 yeah. and it was like it was like a cup final for us uh, of course for me as well yeah. when you play against your, yeah. your, your, your old club who, who suddenly tell you you're not needed anymore <laughs> and, and you're, you're finished yeah. and having won the title ahead of them with um, you know they've spent so much um, yeah. look at the quality they have yeah. to be honest look at the quality Max has and Diego yeah. you have Diego Max you have Kodai you have Shawal all that players and and we have um, probably less unknown players and the youngest players as well. Yes, <laughs> of course. Yeah. And and when we won a title, it was like I don't need to tell people, hey, you know, I, you know, it's better here than there. Yeah. But people came to yeah. me and said, oh, you won. And, yeah. and of course, they don't want Lions Sailors to win yeah. as much as I don't want them to win as well. Because right, right, right. that's not that's not much of a hatred. It's a professional reason, You're right? Because. Oh, you don't want me? Okay. Probably um, yeah, they are lost, someone yeah. else didn't. Yeah. So I had to do my part first. Yeah. Before I have to. You know, I, I, you know, I, <laughs> I kept quiet for so many months, right? Yeah. I don't, but, I, I don't think you have opened up at all. Yes, have right. you? No, no, never. So is this the first time? So probably this is my first uh, time. I'm so, I'm so glad and honored, yeah, man. But I feel <laughs> because. Because why? The reason why? Because most of the people, most of the fans, they thought that I left. Yeah. And okay. they thought. Um, you know, I'm a traitor. You know, I yeah. left the club for a rival yeah, right, right. club, so it's not what it is. Mm-hmm. And then, and I feel that um, people have to know this. And I was being released. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. You heard it first. I I think uh, anywhere on social media or anything like that. So yeah, so it's it's been a wonderful season yeah. for yourself personally for the club uh, and and. Any last words, you know, from Elbrex, a message from Elbrex your, your, to, to, the, to the fans of Elbrex or whatever. You want to say something, uh, uh, Hiroki? Mm. <laughs> uh, thank you for your uh, passionate support for yeah. this season. But we have also, of course, uh, we have Singapore Cup as yeah. well. Uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, 16th September final match uh, at Jurong East yeah. uh, weekend. Celebrate the together, spare, yeah. Spare title nice. together. Uh, who you're playing against? Taogang. Taogang. And yeah. and uh, you know, to all the fans, uh, Elbrex fans, diehard fans, and and local and foreign fans, it doesn't matter. Come on down to support uh, you guys at Jurong East Stadium, right? The game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, come on down. It's a home game as well. So so come on down and support the guys. And you go. You guys are going to officially lift the club. Uh, the cup. Uh, brilliant. And Hassan, any last words? Um, I think we're only halfway through the season. <laughs> half halfway through the year. Um, I think that was uh, the message uh, passed across by Coach Shinagura <laughs> because we just completed uh, half the season. Yeah. Another half is the Singapore right. Cup. So we completed half the season. Um, we aced it. And now uh, we have to focus on the next one. Having said that, we need all the support we, we can get from the fans. I think they would be tremendous. You know, they came every single game, especially home game. Yeah. I think when you see Jurong East Stadium now, it's always full when nice, you play home games, nice. so it's nice to have them uh, supporting us, yeah. especially when you when, when when we play big teams. Right. And then, of course, going into Singapore Cup, we need their support as well. So yeah. I hope the fans will, will continue to come down and support us. Listen, uh, spoken like a true professional, because Coach Yoshinaga says it's only halfway. It's half half the half yeah. the job done. So uh, exactly, and, and I I can understand and I can. You know, feel him when he says that as well, right? And please send uh, uh, my regards to Coach Yoshinaga. Thank you sure. for his answers as well. I think he's helped out with the answers. So uh, have a great holiday for the next what two weeks? Uh, a mini break, like, basically. Uh, it's not a full on. I, I don't know what's going on for national team. So oh, yes, if I'll course. be part of it, Monday we start our first training session. Um, meantime, yeah, I just it's, wait it's for not, the. It's squad. not out yet. Yeah, it's no, no. Out. I just wait for the squad to announce and. and Listen, and if you're not in the squad. Then something's wrong, right? Yeah, that's how I I, I, I stay, um, you know, motivated. And <laughs> I make sure I will yeah. never be there because uh, it's how I work towards it. Oh yeah, sorry. By the way, Hassan, if you wanna you, you wanna tell us where is your your, your new uh, stall gonna be at, it, it'll be great. Um, I think today is the second day uh, operating. Um, I've been busy uh, recently. Or, yeah, or, yeah. So it's at Block One Four Four Tampines Street Twelve. Um, okay. It's just a small coffee shop. Yeah. It's a really small space, but um, 
I hope uh, the name of the place is still the same, right? Yes, Dapo has a right. So, uh, yes, small place, small shop. I okay. hope it will turn big. Uh. Great. Uh, I wish you all the best. I wish Elbrex all the best uh, for the rest of the season. Halfway done, half job done. Uh, go out there and, and, and just just uh, do your thing, guys. Uh, thank you, uh, Hiroki. Thanks for coming down. Thanks, Hassan. Thank As you, usual, my, my, my pleasure. Uh, this has been a, a wonderful episode, you know. It, getting some insights into Elbrex and their mentality and their championship winning season. It has been an absolutely brilliant episode. Uh, thanks to the guys. And please follow us. We are out on YouTube, uh, Spotify, the Apple Podcasts, uh, The Works, right? So till the next episode, we see you again. Cheers.